Time? Time does strange things when you're living in it. An hour, an afternoon, a week evaporates. A year ago seems eons away. As we move through time, we mark and measure it as though we insist on meaning in spite of our smallness. Our planet travels around the sun at a concentric snail's pace. It's locked in a gravitational spiral that will last over seven billion years. The Earth tumbles through space at a mere 127,208 kilometers per hour. My work is based in ideas and concepts as much as it is with materials and objects. The late artist Saul LeWitt famously announced that the idea is the machine that makes the art. He was well aware that art usually begins with an idea and that when looking for something extraordinary, it's often best to begin with something ordinary. Did you know that our sun contains nearly 23 trillion tons of pure gold? We live next door to a mineral-rich star. This little equator asks us to imagine a gigantic circle transformed into a line 36 inches long. Each of these stones has been gathered from one of the 13 countries that span the equator. The equator is more than just an imaginary line, more than just a point of departure. It was invented by people to measure and manage time and space. There are 195 countries in the world today. There are only 13 countries that intersect with the equator. Elio Eduardo reminds us that the equatorial line is not simply a mathematically determined axis dividing the geographic north from south. It's a political, social, racialized, and economic concept a paradigm dividing the developed from the third world, just as there is a paradigm separating the western and eastern hemispheres. There are different ways to mark time. The familiar objects of everyday life, the things that we do every day, ordinary things that we use and dispose of day in and day out. Some are valued, some are not. On my evening walks, I frequently come across books that people have left on the curb as free offerings to passers-by. Layer by layer, I bore into these found books in order to extract these cylindrical core samples. Century is a collection of core samples spanning 100 years from 1909 to 2009. Night After Night asks us to consider time through a physical volume, a folded score that captures a lunar month. The moon is our planet's closest companion. Gradually, almost imperceptibly, in increments of about an inch and a half per year, the moon drifts further and further away from us, pulling on the oceans, slowing the Earth's rotation, and lengthening our days. You can mark time by following the phases of the moon, but you can actually measure time, open up the distant past, if you know which moon rocks to look for. In 2001, meteorologists began to describe jet trails in their abundance to be an official form of cloud, here represented as cirrus aviaceus and embedded right into the drywall. Epoch is more than a response to the notion of the Anthropocene. It's more like a contemplation of deep time and the delicate irony that clouds, in all of their fleeting impermanence, may prove 
to be the single greatest agent of change there is.